sorry. Oh my gosh. I have a birthday haul this morning. I actually sat down. I was getting ready. I recorded myself getting ready or I thought I was recording proof right here. I have my basket and my dirty sponge. And I hit record and it was recording but I think my little SD card was full. And at some point it stopped recording. I didn't even notice. I wasn't really looking at the monitor because I have my camera connected to my monitor. I was putting on my lip liner and I looked and it wasn't recording. I was kind of upset. I was like, no! I was kind of bummed out because I was trying to stay ahead of the game so I could have a get ready for this week. And it was a total, total fail for me. I have some makeup, I have some nail polishes, a little bit on the higher end, luxury brands and stuff. I have some shoes here. Where the heck did I put? Oh, I have them here on the side. Let me not forget that. And I even bought some things for myself because who says you can't buy things for yourself on your birthday, right? I have um, polishes from CVS. I'll start off with these two. These are part of the Frida Kahlo. Uh, collection that came out in CVS well over a year ago. I want to say it was like a year and a half ago or so But I could never find them in a CVS near me or near my mom's house or my sister's house about a week and a half ago or so I walked into CVS because I was getting some medicine for my daughter. She got sick I'm I got sick as well. By the way, I'm still I'm still sick. It just doesn't want to I can't kick this cold off it's crazy, but at the checkout stand, I found the Frida Kahlo polishes. So excited. There was a red one as well, but I didn't feel like it was gonna suit me very well, so I didn't get it. Thinking about it now, I feel like I should have gotten them because to me, these are more like collector's items because they say Frida Kahlo on them and it has a little art here at the, at the cap here. So cute. They're both creams. This one is called FKN.37, which is, I don't, I don't know why they didn't come up with better names for these. And this one is called FKN.14, which is a nude. I got three polishes from 90 Lacquer here. This is my backup of Singer Auto Salvage. It is. It was a toss-up for me between this one and Sprinkles from her new collection. But I've, I've been wanting to get my backup of Singer for a while. And so I went for this one. This one is from an older collection. I believe it was called the Smoothie Collection, and this one is called Mango Sunrise, which is an orangey kind of coral polish with matte black shards. It is so freaking beautiful. This one is from the new collection. This one is called Robin's Egg, and this one has some multi-chrome flakes, which is like all the craze. Plus, it has some multi-chrome. It looks like micro glitters in there as well. Really beautiful. From Nordstrom, I got uh, varying brands here, luxury polishes. And my first one from Tom, Tom Ford. It has a little Tom Ford here at the top, and then it has a little engravement TF. So pretty. The bottle is so freaking beautiful. This is nice. It has some weight to it. And the brush is on the thinner side, but it's not super long, which is great because a color like this, I feel like I would lose control, especially with a very thin brush. But because the brush is a little bit on the shorter side, it that'll help me out a lot. But you could see there at the neck of the bottle, it's more of a blackened purple. So beautiful, super chic. And I feel like a color like this goes really well year round. I have one from Chanel. I do have another one from Chanel. It's called Androgyny Formula. It's really great. But I've mentioned that the brushes from Chanel are a little bit on the thinner side and a little bit longer. Longer than the Tom Ford ones. So I lack a bit of control. But with a shade like this, I feel like it's not a big deal because it's a much lighter shade. Would it be something this dark? You know, it'd be a little bit on the tricky side. I did end up wearing this one on Saturday because when I did my weekly basket, I didn't think about the wedding at all. Not makeup, not nail polish. I didn't think of anything. So I did have to reach into my stash to pull certain things that I feel are great for a day, like a special event. I'm part of a wedding party. I'm going to be coming out in professional pictures and stuff like that. So I went ahead and pulled other stuff for that day. Uh, and I pulled this nail polish because... It, it's, it's more of a nude. It's kind of a taupe, but more of a nude, I would say. Let me compare it to my favorite taupe. You can see this is a lot deeper, which is Wet Cement from Wet n Wild. And this looks way more nude, which went really well with, um, with that wedding. I feel like it was great for like a wedding day, being part of a wedding party. I think it's really beautiful. I have a couple from Dior. These are my first Dior polishes. This one is called Splash. Obviously, I was in some kind of a mood here because Robin's Egg and then the one from Frida. 
you can see that. But, so this one right here is called Splash and it is so pretty. Now the Dior brushes are whiter and I need Chanel to do that too. I feel like, you know, us girls that have whiter nail beds would appreciate it. Oh my god, I just got some on my nail right there. You can see that there. Which, by the way, I'm really upset about my manicure today because... I'm just really upset. I put two layers of this last night, which is... Uh, where is that polish? Oh my gosh, where did I put it? And it's called Sweet as Pinkie Pie. With pastels, I expect longer drying time and I expect to have to apply three layers of the polish so sometimes what I do if I'm short with time I'll apply two layers the night before and then one thin layer the following day so I did that I applied two layers last night and let it dry this morning before dropping off my girls to school I applied one thin layer waited about 15 to 20 minutes went to drop off my kids accidentally bumped this these two nails onto the my little wheel and it completely smudged the polish and I was like what the heck it's been 15 20 minutes and it was one thin layer I was really upset so it's a good thing that I put it in my bi-weekly because this is gonna be a declutter for me because I just don't I don't have the time for that so when I came home I removed it off of these two nails put one thin layer let it dry about 10 minutes and then put Monet and when I put Monet it kind of dragged the polish a little bit so I'm a little upset about my manicure this morning but you know whatever anyways that was splash and then i got this um more of a dusty rose and i brought out get down which is what i have in my my bi-weekly basket here you can see this has quite a bit more red this one is called cosmopolite or cosmopolite i don't know i want to say cosmopolitan but it's not it's just really pretty you can see this has quite a bit more red in it than this one right here. And then lastly, I have these two NARS polishes. I have a couple of NARS polishes, and they're really nice. I like the brushes from NARS. They're a little bit on the wider side. This one is called Minoski, I think it's called. And these, the caps do come off. So these, the, the brush is a little bit wider. Let me compare it to my favorite taupe yet again from Wet n Wild. You can see this is a lot deeper and it has quite a bit more purple in it. And lastly, I got Jungle Red, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this has a cult following, if I'm not mistaken. But can you see this red? This is so, so pretty, oh my gosh. And by the look of it, at the neck of the bottle, it looks a little jelly which is a red jelly always looks so good. Let's do this body item here. This is from Chanel and it's their Coco Chanel scent. I love that perfume. That is my favorite perfume ever. And a long time ago, the first time that I bought it, mind you, I think I had been married to my husband for about 10 years. He had never complimented me on a scent before. Smelled it. He was like, what the heck is that smell? It smells so good. And I told him it was this perfume and he loved it. It is the only perfume he has ever complimented me on. I finished a couple bottles of those. Haven't bought it in the last few years. And I wanted to try this oil here, which is the Velvet Body Oil. Put it on and he recognized the scent. He's like, what is that scent? It smells so good. He really likes the scent of this. It's a light scented oil. I bought the oil because I like body oils, but this is more scented and the fragrance to stay on the body uh, for a, quite a while. So I'll spray a little bit. I should have done it on this side. And it's more of a light oil. It's very fast absorbing. This is not something that I use to moisturize my body. I have eczema on my body. So for that, I go in with my Eucerin uh, moisturizer and this I'll use as a topper mainly like in this area you know where you normally apply your perfume and stuff like that but I'll also apply it on my arms and the scent lingers for quite a long time very nice super soft leaves the skin really soft I just have to be mindful with something like this because it is a fragrance I have to be careful in where I'm putting it as far as my eczema areas for skincare I bought these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta peeling um wipes here these are you cut you get 40 no 35 of them and there's just two steps so there's step one 
which is the one to exfoliate and smooth and the second one is to neutralize so this one is the anti-aging neutralizer that first one I started using them I was using them three times a week and then I did um, you know I started amp amping it up a little bit and I felt like I could use them daily recently some days if I feel like I needed a little bit more I will do day and night because you can use these day and night my skin can tolerate it so I can use them day and night not a big deal still testing them out they are a skincare item and I feel like with skincare it takes takes uh, a little while this is a little sample I had from the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum it's a radiant serum I love this so much that I went to buy the full size this is so good I have hyperpigmentation quite a bit of it I have quite a bit of sun damage I put this on the, the first time and I immediately noticed a difference in my skin the following day my skin looked brighter it looked like my hyperpigmentation had toned down just a little bit and I felt like every day after that that I continued using it my skin just looked more even and for that reason it was worth it it was worth it for me to go out and buy something like this really good totally worth it this is one of those items that the sample made me buy the full size and I really like it. I've been wearing it. At first, I was wearing it a few times a week, and then I moved on to wearing it almost every day, once a day. And uh, recently, I've been using it twice a day, and I feel like that's when you get the most results is when you're wearing, using it morning and night every single day. Makeup-wise here, let me start off with the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. I mentioned this in my bi-weekly basket. I have it on today. Really good color for me, by the way. This is in 07. It blended out nicely. It's more, it's a very warm tone bronzer. So for me, my skin, it looks really good. I really like more of that orangey kind of bronzer and I think it looks nice. It blended out nicely. This is a product that I'll be doing a review on, but I'm still, I'm still testing it out. Oh, I forgot with these, by the way. Um, so these you can buy on them on their own, but they had this little kit for the same price of just this. It came with a little exfoliating moisturizer and it came with the Alpha Beta Cleansing Gel. So I, I got the kit because I thought it's the same price. Why not try them all? Plus you get the same amount of wipes that you got on you know just buying this individually if that makes sense three eyeshadows from Kat Von D actually funny thing when I went to buy this I was at the checkout and I saw that the Kat Von D shadows were on clearance half off so I got three of them this one is called raw power and I've never tried the Kat Von D these are their metal metal crush shadows I've never tried her eyeshadows in general so got that one I also got this one which is called dose d-o-c-e i think that's how you you spell it or you pronounce it not spell it so that's raw power and then that's dose and then this one which is an emerald green so freaking beautiful look at that that's really pretty i have this foundation here i finished a foundation in my makeup use up and I have mentioned that once I finished a foundation, I wanted that was my go ahead to tr start trying other foundations. So I pulled one from NARS. This is the Velvet Matte Skin Tint. This has an SPF 30, which is really great. And I'm in the shade Cuba. And as a reference, I'm an NC44 in MAC, just in case you guys are curious. As well as this Lash Paradise um, mascara. I've tried it before and I don't think I was a fan of it, but I wanted to try it again. So I went ahead and pulled, uh, picked this one up. This one is in black as black. I picked up, oh, I forgot to mention, this is a vel um, an ap apricot cream for the cuticles from Dior. I bought this at the same time that I bought the, what did I buy? The, um, the nail polishes. Let me take off some of this stuff, but let me show you guys. Do you see that? I thought that was really strange. It was super sticky, by the way. But once you put it on, the stickiness goes away. It doesn't. It doesn't stay sticky. But it feels at first. It feels almost like a melted taffy. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I've only used it one other time, um, so haven't really tested it out. It smells. It smells like very softly like apricots it smells really nice it doesn't leave your your nails or your cuticles 
looking greasy it absorbs into the cuticle area really well and again it doesn't it doesn't stay sticky at all I also got a couple sponges here I got the eco tools one I mentioned it in my last haul and I told you guys that it ripped really fast and I thought it was me because I'm really rough with my sponges but a lot of you guys told me that that your sponges ripped really fast too and some of you guys told me that it's it ripped on the first wash so I bought it again because I want to test it out and then we can talk about it in a later video I also got a Sonia Kashuk sponge I already have one in use I like it a lot so I went ahead and purchased another one this is the one that I used this morning this one's still a little damp so you can see it gets just a little bit bigger what else did I get? Uh, lastly, uh, Chanel Quad here. I got this one in Condor et Experience. And this one came out a couple years ago. There was a lot of buzz around this little quad because they're all matte shades. And a lot of the Chanel Quads, they are all they all either have some kind of shimmer or satin finish to them. These are all matte. And this was a really big buzz because um, Lucia did Kristen Stewart's makeup and she used this ready kind of eyeshadow on her and it looked amazing. I've been wanting this little quad since it came out but I held off for a really long time so really excited to now have it. It does come with two little sponge tip applicators. I threw everything away by the way and then it came with the little, the little velvet sleeve thing. Let me show you guys the shoes because my honey got me these shoes. These are some Vans. I have some with the leopard um, print which I posted on my Instagram quite a while ago. And these are the ones that I've been wanting to get these as well as the black ones. And I went on the hunt for these because no van store near me had my size. Um, and I tried getting them online as well and none of them had it. And finally, I found a van store that actually carried them. So really excited. I'll leave these linked down below. They have a little platform. I like the vans with the little platform because it gives me a little bit of height because I'm on the I'm on the uh, shorter fun size I guess you can say uh, so got these so cute mine are already looking super tore up because I've been wearing them non-stop but these are really adorable all right that's I think that's everything I don't have anything else to share with you guys I'm pretty sure I've mentioned everything that I needed to mention thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch I hope you guys are having an awesome Monday and I will see you guys in the next one Bye.